I want to be a professional soccer player. Jalen's greatest skill that I've seen as a soccer player is his dedication. And when he sees his other friends doing it, he wants to do it. He wants to do it better. If they, if they do a rainbow kick in the game, well, he wants to do the same thing. So it's just his dedication to, to really honing his craft and being the best he can be, even at nine years old. Really one step ahead of his game, and he's so humble that you wouldn't even know. Nine years old that you would never think that could get out there and play that game like that. I would say what's really unique about Jalen's talent is his um, natural ability to grasp things within one or two attempts. You know, he'll see it and then give him, give him five minutes and, and bam, he's got it. He's like a little gift from God. I mean, everything he touches, he masters. Um, so there's not, nothing that I don't think that little boy will be able to conquer. My name is Jalen Abar and I'm nine years old and I play soccer. I practice about four hours every day. I began coaching Jalen in June of 2018, and he's basically been in my life every day since. You know, we, we train multiple times a week, and obviously I see him on the weekends. He's been in the residency the last two years. He does a residency program, so he, well, he goes to the program at 8 o'clock, and he trains until about 11, which is whenever they do their lunch time. And then from 11 to 2, they have a teacher come in to do their education. And then from 2 to 4, it's training again. So it's really just always on the ball. And he works with this team. Like it's a residency of 17 kids, and a lot of these kids are on his own team. What you see here is the field where Forms Academy residency is housed. The concept behind this is you have high level players going to school and training with each other. The parents get off work, pick up the kids. They don't have additional trainings to go to. It's, they can be regular kids the rest of the evening. So all the training, the hard work he puts into it, I mean, five days a week, week we were at one time every weekend, it's like, well, what are we doing this weekend? I was like, you know what we're doing this weekend, we're, we're going to watch Jalen play soccer. What allows him to play the way he plays is he's, he's inquisitive, he's curious, he'll see something, and he may not talk about it, he may look at it, and you can see him thinking, you can see the wheels turning, and he's like, I'm gonna see if I can try that. How do we get magic if we don't allow you to experiment? And that's what it is. So I started coaching Jalen, you know, I, like I said, I was just a YouTube soccer dad. Um, and once I realized that like he had potential, um, that's when I, I went and seeked help. I was like, okay, I, have, I, I need more for my kids. Look up, look up. Opening up, getting them wider, changing levels. And so those are all things that we worked on today from his balance, his coordination. I just wanted to see that he still had those areas aligned still with his game. And then of course, as you see, uh, He's doing it. So I chose those particular exercises because I always feel like we want to activate the muscles. So that's what you saw us do with the band. So we were activating his calves, ankles, uh, knees, hips, and also just trying to get him to change levels for that balance that we're looking for. And then the last uh, movements that we did were the transverse patterns where uh, he, we were sticking at the end on the high knees and then we were crossover stepping out. I like technique and skills more than juggling because you can't really juggle on a game. That's not really helpful, but you can use technique and skills in a game. I just like making people dive. It's like really fun doing that. Try anything, make a mistake, good. It's an opportunity to fix it. How do you fix it? And then what do you learn from that? So, um, the way that he's playing is not, it's, it's not systematic, there's no pattern, there's nothing that is predictable about it because we don't know what he's gonna do. It's completely up to his imagination. You know, hey, Coach Ron, I saw someone do this, can I try it? I started playing soccer whenever I was three years old. I didn't really know much about soccer until my mom just wanted me to start playing soccer because like she played soccer and then my sister played soccer. My family is like addicted to soccer. So I did encourage him to play just because I played when I was younger and growing up my whole life, my parents loved watching soccer. Like they're big like Mexico fans. My mom is from Mexico. So she's like just soccer every day. You know, I saw a little glimpse in the very first game he ever played. He scored a goal. Uh, it was like 3v3 indoors, but he'd never played before, never touched a ball prior to that. And I was like, okay, so yeah, he's, he's solid. He would just be running around all of these other kids and you know, scoring all of the goals, and he really did stand out since he was very little. He was just born 
with a ball in his hand and it was a soccer ball. And, and his dad, I mean, all the videos that we see from itty bitty to now and how he's grown. He's just flying down the field. He's out running kids that are taller than him, maybe a year or two older than him. But he's just, he, he's handling himself like he's, like he's been here before, like he's been doing this before. And it was just, it was a joy to see. I mean, at the end of the day, he's just a kid. He's around his uncles, he's around his, his sister. And, and you see Jalen for who he really is. I mean, he's, he, everyone else see on YouTube and things like that, they, they see the soccer phenom. We see the other side. I really believe he's just a genuinely his own unique person. When he comes to the house, he'll, you know, he'll jump on Gimps and they got a little saying that they say. <laughs> Gimps, you show is ugly. <laughs> We didn't pre push it on him to be a professional soccer player. Um, he saw that he was good, and um, you know, he said his goal was to be a professional soccer player. And so, as a dad, you know, I said, okay, I will do everything I can in my power to help you achieve that goal. If Jalen sticks with it, I mean, he's already on path and set to set his path to be, become a professional. He'll get picked up pretty early. Honestly, for him, I really do think that him just being a professional athlete, he's always said that that's what he wants to be when he grows up. So if he doesn't do this as a living, like being an athlete himself, then he'll probably be the one to teach kids and guide them in the right directions. Jalen's future is limitless, if you ask me, because we've instilled this worth ethic in him so at such an early age that it, it just doesn't matter what he decides to take on in life. Um, he's gonna be successful, but for him, our goal has always been college, and we're gonna stick to you know playing college soccer. That's gonna forever be our goal because that's how we started out. So if we're able to go pro, that's a bonus. It's a major bonus, obviously, but it, it is a bonus. As long as we get him into college, then you know we've done our job as parents because um, you know ultimately all we want to do is set our kid up for success. But um, for Jalen, I, I genuinely believe that the sky is the limit for him. He's so young, he's only nine, but he's already stood out to so many different coaches all over the world. Like, we've had coaches from Brazil, from all over the United States, from um, Europe, from Barcelona, just come and like congratulate us and tell us that they have been watching him and like, you know, to keep working at it. So I really do think, believe that this is his path in life, that he will one day be a professional soccer player. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out other No Days Off videos.